Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a filet of fish cake. As with all of my food cakes, I want this to look as realistic as possible. So to do that, I actually went out and bought myself a filet of fish sandwich, and I used that as a reference. So you could kind of make it look like it's a filet of fish from like an ad or in a commercial where it's so perfect, but I like the imperfections. I like that the bun has a few little dents and the cheese is kind of slightly off center. I think that's what makes it look as realistic as I can get it. So that's what we're going for in this one. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We put out new cake videos every Monday and also like this video. I've been filming some TV stuff lately. I talk about it on all of our social media, but I also talk about it a lot on Patreon. That's where I can kind of give you some behind the scenes photos and let you in on some of the stuff that I can't quite announce yet. So if you want to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes. So let's get started. Here I have a filet of fish sandwich. It has the bun, uh, the fish patty, the cheese, and the sauce. We're gonna replicate all of those things. So I started with a layer of vanilla cake and a circle parchment stencil. So this circle is slightly smaller than the circumference of the actual sandwich. You wanna make it a little smaller that way when we build up some of the materials like the modeling chocolate, my cake is going to end up very similar to the size of the actual fish sandwich. Then I stack my cake. I've got two layers of vanilla cake with chocolate ganache in between. Then I took this sandwich and I placed it next to my cake and I'm going to cut at an angle and I wanna trim the top off to meet with the sandwich. And I also wanna go at an angle because you can see the actual real sandwich is slightly off. It's not perfect, it's a little uneven. The idea for this is to not be perfect because this sandwich, even though they may look perfect in the commercials, they are not perfect in person. So I want my sandwich cake to look as realistic as possible. So imperfections are key. Once the cake is carved, I'm going to crumb coat the cake with chocolate ganache. A crumb coat is just a thin layer of ganache to cover the entire cake. Then I take a scraper and I smooth out the sides. I even used my fingers and I pushed that top layer slightly off of the bottom layer because I want this to be just slightly wonky. The outside layer is modeling chocolate. So I just place rolled out modeling chocolate right over top of the cake and I work it around the edges. Then I took a blade and I trimmed away some of that excess chocolate. And because the size of this cake is so small, I was literally able to pick it up and kind of work the chocolate over the bottom. If I couldn't pick this up because it was larger, that'd be fine. You would just wanna work the chocolate under the bottom with it resting on the cake board. Next, I took a sculpting tool and I want to show the separation between the bottom bun and the top bun. I'm not worrying about the fish quite yet, just the buns. So you can see, I just kind of rock the tool. I'm using the side of the tool, not the pointed end, and I'm pressing right into the cake. Because this is modeling chocolate, it's really easy to manipulate. So you can go in and push it around and it stays pretty well. The bottom bun has a flat side. So I took the side of my tool and I rolled it up just to flatten that out a little bit. I'm constantly looking at the real fish sandwich. I wanna make sure that mine looks pretty close to the real one. So I'm shaping the entire bottom bun. Then I start working on the top bun. I took that pointed tool again, and I wanna add all these fun creases that are on the top of the bun. So I'm just going in and I'm making marks. I switched up my tools a little bit so the marks aren't all exactly the same size. So I can have some that are a little bit thicker and deeper and some that are a little bit more shallow. I think the variety is key when you want this to be nice and realistic.
Then I took a very sharp pointed tool and I kind of ripped away the edges of the bun. It added a nice texture. Part of the bottom bun I thought was just slightly too thin. So to fix that, all I did was take some soft modeling chocolate and I just placed it right on the bottom bun and I blended it in. It's super easy. Uh, that's why I like working with modeling chocolate. It's very easy to fix. I added a few more creases on the sides of the bun. Again, switch up your tools. Uh, keep it random, don't think about it too hard. You don't want it to look like a pattern. You want it to look very, very random. Then I took a hard bristled brush and I pressed it into the chocolate and that's gonna add some nice texture. So I make marks and then I soften them with the brush. You can see this is where the bun looks just like a little bit smushed, like the real fish sandwich. I wanted to replicate some of those imperfections. For the fish patty, I took some modeling chocolate and I literally just pressed it onto the side of the cake and I blended it in. All I really wanna focus on right now is making sure that I have that square shape that the patty comes in. So I'm just going in and I'm blending everything out and giving it some corners. So instead of carving that out of cake because it's so thin, I just use modeling chocolate. It doesn't take very much. If this was a larger cake, you could probably make that fish patty out of cake, but it's not really necessary for this size. Now it's time to paint. So I started by painting the top bun, and I'm trying to color match. I wanna make sure that I cover the entire bun at first with a nice brown tone. And you can see I even use my brush and I'm tapping a little bit, and that's because when I brush the color on, you can see you know, the actual brush strokes, but if you tap, it's a little bit softer. Then I went in and I added some dark areas in the creases and also some nice light areas on the bun. So the main colors I'm using here are brown, yellow, and white. Once the top bun was done, I started working on the bottom, similar colors. And then I went in with some yellow food color and I painted the patty. I did this because the chocolate was just slightly too bright white. I wanted to have a yellow base. To make the breading for the fish, I grabbed the scraps that I had trimmed off earlier. And these are just cake scraps. You just crumble them up and you add a little bit of orange and brown food color. It makes for the perfect breading, but it's just cake. It's fun. Next, I'm going to brush on some edible glue. The edible glue is just half corn syrup, half water, you mix them together and you can just paint them directly onto the patty. And what's nice about this is it gives those cake crumbs something to stick to. So you place the cake crumbs on and I'm using a sculpting tool to kind of spread the crumbs apart, get it onto the patty. It's pretty time consuming because as you can see, you know, you gotta make sure that you get the entire thing covered and the crumbs really don't like gravity. <laughs> so I'm going around and I'm using my sculpting tools and I'm using my fingers to press those cake crumbs right onto that patty. So don't worry about making this nice and clean yet. We're gonna clean it up later. Right now, we just wanna make sure that the entire patty is covered in cake crumbs. I had my cake on a piece of parchment for a little bit, and I did that because I knew I was gonna get messy. So it's really easy to just take it, peel it right off the parchment, and place it back on your cake board. Now it's time to clean up some of those crumbs. So to do that, I brush away some of the crumbs that are on the bun, and then I go in with my fingers and I'm packing down the cake just to make it look a little bit more clean. 
When you have a bunch of crumbs all over the place, it just doesn't read as a McDonald's filet of fish sandwich. Uh, it's a little too messy. So I want it to be packed in just slightly more. There you go. Next comes the cheese. So this is just modeling chocolate colored with yellow and orange. And I take my tool and I'm separating the fish patty from the bun. And then I'm going to place that cheese in there. My cheese is pretty short because on a filet of fish, they only give you half a slice of cheese, which I think is not quite fair, but <laughs> I'm trying to make this true to life. So I also made mine very thin, like a half slice. Next comes the sauce. So to make this sauce, I literally just used Swiss buttercream. I piped it onto the fish patty and then I smoothed it out with a blade. Then I took a paintbrush and I just smoothed it out a little bit. For the tiny pickles, uh, they're just itty bitty pieces of modeling chocolate that I colored green and then I covered them in the buttercream. You only need a few. I felt like if I added too much of that sauce, it's not gonna look as real because I feel like it shouldn't be pouring out of all the edges. I just wanted one side that had a hint of the sauce. And there you have it, a filet -o fish sandwich cake. Let's cut this fish sandwich and really confuse everyone. <laughs>